Hi there, this is Paolo with Bark. Make sure to check out the introduction to iOS monitoring video if you haven't already. It's gonna set some important context for what this video is gonna cover. And in this video, we're gonna set up iOS monitoring via the Bark Home method. Bark Home being a little box that you plug into your router. If you haven't set up the Bark Home yet, set it up and then come back to this video. So in total, here's what you'll need for this method. Your child's iOS device, like an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, a Bark Home that's already been paired to your account, and a charging cable for your child's iOS device. You'll use this cable to connect your child's iOS device to the Bark Home for the first time setup. After we're done, Bark will be able to monitor your kid's iOS device wirelessly via Wi-Fi whenever it's home. No cable needed. So it's just needed for that first time setup. Let's get started. Log into your parent app or dashboard on your phone or on your computer. I'll be using a computer just so it's easier to show you what's going on. Tap the plus symbol on the top right. Tap child's name you're setting up iOS monitoring for. Tap setup monitoring. Tap Apple slash iOS. Since we're doing the Bark Home method, select monitor with Bark Home. And here we see what we need for the Bark Home method, but we've already discussed that, so let's move on. Now we're gonna plug in your child's iOS device with the charging cable into the Bark Home for the first time setup. Make sure to unlock your child's iOS device so that you see the home screen and can watch out for a trust this computer prompt. You'll tap trust, and you may need to enter your child's lock screen passcode when prompted. It may take a minute or two for it to show up, so keep an eye out. If the trust prompt doesn't show up, or you may need to double check the connection of the cable. You'll know it's connected to the bar comb if there's a little lightning bolt over the battery life. When your child's iOS device appears on this list, select it. Then once again, be on the lookout for one of those trust the computer prompts on your child's iOS device. Keep it unlocked. And now we wait. Because the first time setup is scanning up to 60 days back in the text, photos, videos, WhatsApp messages of your kid's iOS device, it's scanning a big chunk of stuff. So this first analysis might take up to 45 minutes. Often it's less, but it can be some time. The good news is you can see the progress right on your dashboard. Whenever it's done, you'll see that the last analyzed date updates and you can unplug the device. Going forward, it will be analyzed whenever it's home over Wi-Fi. And now it'll wait to do another analysis in about six hours. But if you want to kickstart an analysis so that it comes through sooner, you can always click that button whenever the device is detected. And if the device is not detected, check out our video description for links to our solutions. While you wait, install the Bark Kids app on their device so you can set up screen time as well. After the first scan completes, you can unplug the device and going forward, make sure that they're connected to the home Wi-Fi whenever they're home so that the Bark Home has plenty of chances to scan their device. And if they have a lock screen passcode on their iOS device, remind them that they'll need to enter it in when prompted. And that's iOS monitoring. Now that we've set it up, you should be able to review alerts, manage your devices and more from your parent app on your phone. And don't worry, if your kid isn't home, that's okay. Bark will catch up next time it detects the device. If you have any additional questions about iOS monitoring or Bark in general, don't hesitate to reach out to us at help at bark.us.